Hello, we are here in Engedi. This is, of course, the area where David ran to get protection from King Saul and his army. This is the uh, upper waterfall area. There's another one a little bit further down. Uh, I haven't explored the rest of it, so I'm not quite sure what else is here. But there are a lot of caves, a lot of places where David could have hidden, as you can see up here behind me. But it was about 10 years or so when, uh, before, that David was promised the kingdom of Israel. And then again, 10 years later, he eventually got it. But while he was here, he wrote some of the Psalms. And a lot of times that were the very discouraging ones that uh, he had to deal with. You know, discouragement, depression, even, you know, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? What's the result? What did he do? What, what gave him hope in the midst of those things? Well, he tells us, hope thou in God, hope in the Lord, hope in his promises, hope in who he is, not only what he's promised, but his character, his very nature, which is good and godly, of course, and holy. And he is a covenant keeping God. So when we get discouraged, when we are in our En Gedi, when we're discouraged as well, or, or depressed perhaps, learn to hope in the Lord, trust in his word, go to him and pour out your heart to him as David did, and ask him to comfort you, whether through him directly through his word or through other people, however he chooses, and let him do what he said he would do. It's happened to me many times, I'm still learning how to do it perfectly, I haven't got there yet either. But again, when you do get discouraged, when you find yourself crying out, why God, help me, what's going on? Hope in the Lord, because he is good and his mercy does endure forever.